It's that wonderful time of the year. It's almost Christmas. Welcome back to Painting with Yvette. And so <clears throat> I've been thinking and thinking, what could I do for Christmas that it would be fun, it would be colorful, it would be easy, and it would be Christmassy with the beautiful Christmas colors. And so I thought, oh, this is the perfect time to do it. So you want to know what it is? Well, let's go take a peek. The very first thing I'm going to do is take uh, one of these blue paper towels uh, from Costco and dip into my oil medium. And what I'm going to do is just lightly put oil all over my canvas, just a light coat. Just go ahead and coat this canvas with oil medium. Make sure you have a thin, even coat, evenly distributed so you don't have any dull spots. Everything is nice and shiny. And as you can see by my light shining on it, it's very shiny. I'm going to flip this towel over and I'm just going to go over the other side because I want to make sure that I don't have too much. Grab this uh, one inch landscape brush and I'm going to go into just a slight, can you even see this? <laughs> just the slightest bit of oil medium right here. I'm just going to get just a little bit on the tips of the brush and go into a alizarin crimson. Actually, well no that won't fit there. Too bad. <laughs> okay, so what I want to do is just get a little bit of this alizarin crimson on here and I'm just going to lightly go over my whole canvas up here. And I'm just going to coat this. It doesn't have to be dark and you won't be able to see it right now, but it will show up later. Okay. And then down below, down here, I'm just going to wipe off on a paper towel my brush. Then I want to go into some ultramarine blue. Same thing. And I want to go down here in the bottom. Again, you won't be able to see this, but it's here. Okay, let's call that good. That's all I want to do. I'm going to set this brush aside, wiping it off just on a paper towel. And next, what I want to do is grab a ruler and um, I want to grab this little round brush. And I'm going to grab just a little, oh, just a little bit. Let's go medium red. And just a little bit on the tips. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure on here. And I want you to do the same thing. I'm going to measure, okay, let's measure down first. Approximately four and a half inches. About four, here's four and a half, just make a little mark. And here, let's make a mark about three inches. And we're going to do this all the way down to about here. And here we'll marge, measure about four and a half inches up. Oh, that was pretty good. That wasn't too bad. Then I want from this point, I want to measure three and a half inches. So three and here's a half, just a little mark here. Three and a half, a little mark here. Three and a half, a little mark here. Okay, that's good. So what this is going to be is our candle. Red candle. And this spot down here, don't worry about that. Just, just so we know approximately where it's at. Okay. Now um, I want you to just hold onto this brush for a second and go into your half inch brush. And I want you to go into a little bit of cad red. Let's go into cad red light. 
and load both sides of your brush. I'm not using any medium. Just load both sides of the brush. And here's your candle. Let's just sort of, we'll just draw just a little bit in here. I want this side higher and then kind of drooping down and then maybe come up a little bit over here. This is not perfect and it doesn't need to be. So, so our candle, our little flame will be here. So since it's here, what will happen is we'll have a bright spot right in here where the light would shine against the wall. So I'm just kind of crisscrossing around and blending it in. You've got to have that nice little glow. And you can make this really bright if you want, or you can just make it barely there. Uh, I'm probably going to make mine pretty bright. I'm going to even go into more. Hit it in the center again. And just kind of work out and away. This red candle, I think, is so delightful. I have done this painting so many times in different ways. I've also done that candle in blue. I've done it in white. And I'll tell you what, they all turn out just wonderful. <laughs> so I'm setting that brush down for a second. I need a paper towel here. Wipe this brush off. I want to wipe it off really good. Now with that one inch brush that we had before, I'm just going to lightly very lightly, just kind of feather this in all around the edges and just kind of make it nice and smooth there and I think that looks nice, that's a nice little glow there okay we'll just leave that there and I'm going to set that brush aside because I'm probably pretty much through with that one so now I've wiped off on a paper towel, pretty good, and um, I want to next go into some alizarin crimson. I'm going to dip into a little oil medium first, just a very little bit, and uh, go into alizarin. Now we're going to start on the edges of our candle and we're going to come down to about right in here where we had uh, that little line. So I'll start up here and just bring a line straight down. Load again and let's go on the other side. Again, straight down. Doesn't matter where you come down here, just don't go all the way to the bottom. Right about in here. See now that's a nice, that alizarin is a nice dark, dark color. This, this painting is really hard to see at first. Okay, just wipe lightly. Now I want to go into Cad Red Medium. Load both sides of the brush. And this time I'm going to come right beside the alizarin. Just going up and down. And as I get towards the alizarin, lighten your touch so that it becomes very, very light and smooth. Wipe off the brush. Again, let's go into that medium, cad red medium. And let's go on the other side here. And as you hit the alizarin, lighten your touch and begin to smooth it in there. Okay, wipe the brush off. 
Now let's go into Cad Red Light. Are you beginning to see the candle? It's pretty interesting, huh? Makes a wonderful, I think a wonderful holiday painting. This would make a beautiful gift. Just go up and down. And as you get towards the red medium, you just lighten your touch and just start to blend it in. Okay, wipe the brush. This time give it a really good squeeze. Get that, as much of that paint out as you can. And now I want you to go across and just kind of give it like a little swoop. shouldn't have done that. That's okay, I'm not going to worry about it. Mm -hmm. See that we're just blending that all together. This just sort of fades into nothing here. Now give that, br that uh, brush a good squeeze again. I'm going to wipe that because I didn't want that there. Okay, now back up and down. Great, okay. And on this side, I would like to have actually just a hair of blue because uh, it, this would be kind of like a reflected light. You don't have to have perfectly straight sides. Wipe that brush off and just give it a light blend. There, I like that, <laughs> pretty. Okay, now up at the top, let's go to uh, round back to our round brush. And I want to, let's go into a little bit of, um, uh, let's go into some dark first, a little bit of alizarin and sort of fill in the center here. Then go into a little bit of red. This is the back side. When the candle light is here, it would be it would be reflecting a little bit. Sort of blend it down. And wipe that off. New paper towel. And I want to go into, let's go into some uh, blue and crimson. This is just a dark color. And we're going to start right in here and just sort of make a little wick here, a candle wick. Okay, wipe that off. And now I want you to grab your filbert brush into just a touch of medium. <clears throat> and let's go into, how about let's start with some orange. This would be a pretty, pretty color. And I'm going to kind of make like a little cup And you, if you want to make yours a little wavy, you can do that. I want to 
bring this down just a hair here. Blending right into that wick. Okay, wipe off. Let's go into some yellow. Start down here. Wipe off. I want more yellow. I want that to stand out a little bit more. Yes, that's more like it. Okay, and just a touch of blue right in the center of the wick here. There, isn't that gorgeous? Pretty candle. Okay, now I want to touch, take some of this orange, as long as I have the filbert brush in my hand. And because the light would just kind of hit right on the edge here, just lightly hit a few spots. And it would also hit down here. This would blend a little bit into the darkness. Okay. Now I lost my wick. I need to go back in there again. <laughs> oh dear. That's okay. We'll just put it right back in. There. Perfect. Got that a little too thick, so I'm thinning it out ever so slightly. Okay, now <clears throat> every candle, almost every candle, has a little bit of a kind of a drip. So let's go into some dark red. We're just going to make two little drips here. How about coming, we'll have one right here. And just, you know what, I want to change brushes here. I want to use a different brush. I'm going to use my round brush. Okay, because that will make a better, a better line. This is just cleaning off my brush some. Okay, let's go back into that um, cad, uh, red, medium red. Let's go in here. And drips are not always totally smooth. There's some thickness, they're a little bouncy. And at the end, there's kind of a little ball usually. So let's go back into the red medium again. And let's say here's a little low spot here. Okay, probably right in there. Now I want to highlight that with a little bit of the red light, still the round brush, and just kind of going hmm, just here and there. You just want to highlight some of that drip. Good. I wonder how many of you are actually following along with me. I'll bet you not too many of you. <laughs> okay, let's go into, how about um, a little yellow? No, a little orange. Yeah, orange would be good. We'll just hit, again, just a couple of spots. Because the flicker, the, the candle would hit a little bit. 
and while oh while I have this I want to do that little ball at the end okay and then some yellow just a little bit of yellow because yellow would hit here might hit a couple of spots here And yellow would also probably hit somewhere along here. I'm twisting. And twisting again. Well, that light would just hit and highlight a little bit. Actually, I think it would probably hit right here. There. Okay, and then wiping off the brush again, I'm going to go into dark blue and just hit a little bit along this edge. This is, would just give a little bit of a shadow, kind of. Okay, and because the light is here, the shadow would be on this side. So we'll go over here. bit of shadow there. There! Well that's the start of it. Now you can just lightly blend this out on the edges if you want. So it's not too too obtrusive. Okay, I like that. That's cool. <laughs> I thought, you know, it would really be kind of neat to have a third little droplet in here. So I think I'll just do that. We'll just use a little dark red. <clears throat> we'll just come, I don't know if I should do it here. No, let's do it here because this is the low spot. So just a little one. Okay, then a little of the medium red. This one will not show quite as much because it's right in the lightest part of the candle. And then a little orange. A little yellow. And a little of the dark, the shadow color. Put it on this side. Yeah. Okay, that'll do. <laughs> I just had to do that little thing. Yay, the 
this is my favorite part of the painting. I just love this part. Okay, with my half inch floral brush, first I dip into a little floral medium. And then I go into some ultramarine blue and sap green, loading both sides of the brush. And I'm also going to add just a little bit of yellow. Now the reason I'm adding the yellow is because if I just use blue and green on the black canvas, what happens is it's so dark that it really does not show up. So just adding a little bit of yellow makes all the difference in the world because now you will be able to see it much better. So starting down here at the bottom of the candle, what I wanna do is just think of little curvy lines. These are going to be the branches for our evergreens. So just a little bit of curve. A stick straight does not look very pretty. Uh, into my medium again and blue and green. Now what I want to do is just start with a little tiny strokes. They're probably, oh, I'm guessing on my painting, they're about a half inch to three quarters of an inch. On your painting, it may be different. If it's a bigger painting, you'll want longer strokes. If it's a smaller painting, you'll want little strokes. But I start always right at the stem, the main branch, and go outwards. And when I'm making these little strokes, sometimes I'm crossing over other little needles. Um, sometimes I'm going straight and sometimes I'm just making just a slight curve. So I just keep on adding these little needles and here I want to go over that candle. I want to make sure that that, that, some, that at least one of those branches comes over the top of the candle so that it's, it stands out a little bit. We'll brighten this up in a little bit in a minute. But uh, just continue on with these little needles on the, on the stem, on the, on the branch. And now I'm going off on the last little branch that I made. And you can, you can make two or three branches, even four if that's what you really want. Just make sure that they're nice, even little strokes. Well, not necessarily even, but just make sure they're nice little strokes. And here, I decided I wanted that one more towards the candle to kind of draw your eye in. And so uh, I just added that curvature there. Now I'm picking up just some red. And all I want to do is make a few strokes with that red because red and green are complementary colors and they are just gorgeous together. Um, just adding a few red strokes in here. I don't want too many because I don't want it to overpower or overtake the green. But it, isn't that pretty? Uh, can you see it coming to life now a little bit? Um, I just think that's beautiful. So now I want to start highlighting a little more. So I'm adding more yellow. And I'm just adding to the branches and especially over the candle. I want to brighten that up some. I want to brighten up down towards the bottom a little bit. And just wherever you think it needs a little highlighting, just go ahead and drop that in. It just is so pretty. Um, I love the way the yellow just kind of brings it to life and just makes it stand out gorgeous. Okay, keep going into your yellow. I just think that makes a very colorful, fun part of the painting. <laughs> I like that. Okay. That's all for that one. I'm going to take a paper towel. I'm going to wipe my brush off. Now, I think I want, since I've got that lower foliage, I think what I'll do, how about, uh, let's do a holly leaf. Dipping into my medium, green, yellow, just to lighten it some. 
Uh, let's start, let's see, one holly leaf. Let's do a little one here. Let's just crisscross in here for the center. We'll go up and around and a point. And over here we'll come down a point and a point and down. I want to lighten that on the one side, so we'll do here, here, and a stem there. Wish I could see this. <laughs> Okay, well that's going to have to do because I can't see it hardly at all. Okay, there's one leaf. Let's do another one. Little blue, little green, little yellow. Let's do one over to the side here. About one, two, three. And load the brush again. And let's do one, two, three. And I want to brighten that one top side. Actually, I'm going to brighten both of them. Do this one also a little brighter than it was. Yeah, that's better. Okay. A main stem. And let's do um, one, two, three, four. Little one here, 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 here. I'm just wiping off and that that actually picks up some of the paint. Uh, let's shall we do one more? Let's do one more. Put the we'll just do one more green, one more blue, little yellow. Let's have one coming down this way. How about Little green, blue, yellow. Go to the other side. Actually, this would be not going that way. It would be going this way. There. That's better. See, even I make lots of mistakes. Mm -hmm. Such is life. <laughs> it's okay. It's just a painting. And, you know, I'm famous for going back into my paintings and touching up afterwards. <laughs> I hope you guys learn to do that too because it's such fun. Okay, I like that. Let's stop there. How about, um, oh, I know what would be fun. Let's add a pine cone or even two pine cones. For that, I need a filbert brush. 
So dip into the medium, get the brush nice and moist. Uh, this time we're going to go into burnt sienna. Or dark, I guess it's dark sienna. Anyway, to do a pine cone, we'll start at the top. Let's do one like coming this way. We'll do one coming this way. Um, start at the top with maybe one. And then, I need more medium. It's not quite slippery enough. You need to feel that slipperiness, that smoothness. Okay, here's one, two, three, to, and stagger these. You want these little uh, pine needle, pine, I don't know what they're called. The, you want them staggered so that they're not just one underneath, one, two, one, two, one, two. You go like one, then one, two, three, one, two, maybe one, two, three, one, two, three, four. You just stagger them. And then as you get towards the bottom, they get smaller again. Oh, let's do another one. That's kind of cute. <laughs> let's do another one. Uh, let's, do a, let's do one here. One, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. And we'll just leave it like that. Wipe the brush off. And this time I want to go into some of that burnt sienna and yellow. A lot more yellow because this is going to be highlighting it. And I can tell I need more medium. There, that's a nice color. That's lighter. Okay, so now just touch the tips. Okay, keep going into the yellow. Yeah, and not done yet. Now, I just wiped off the brush. <clears throat> now I'm grabbing some white to make this very, very light. More medium. There. This time, and because of the light, you'd be hitting a little bit on the outside edge. And I'm not hitting every single one of them. I'm just hitting the ones that would kind of be on top here. Okay. Pine cones are fun. Yeah, I like that. Okay, good. We'll call that good. And I think just for fun, we need to have more of that foliage coming out here. So we'll go back to our, our um, half inch floral brush, dip into medium, go into green and blue, a little bit of yellow, And let's have some coming out here. I'm 
going to go into just plain yellow. That's good. Medium. Blue and green. And I'm going to, let's go, let's carry this over here. Just a little bit coming up here. And I'm going to have to get some more yellow here in a minute. I changed my camera angle. <laughs> Whether it works or not, I have not the slightest clue <laughs> until I get this painting done. And then by then, of course, it's too late. But um, well, we'll see. Let's have a little bit coming out here. This would be getting very dark down here at the bottom because all your light is up here. So let's go into um, just a little bit more. I need a lighter color. And again, maybe just a touch of red. Okay, I need more yellow. Okay, good. <clears throat> okay, into the medium. Yes, I want to get that yellow. This is just brush cleaning. So I get a purer color. There, that's nice and smooth. Okay. Oh, I like that. Okay, that's good. Let's do... Oh, I know what let's do. Filbert brush. Back into the medium. That's a little dirty. Just clean the brush. Let's go into some red, uh, medium red. How about right here? We we'll just put the brush in, make a little circle. We'll do that again. Make a little circle. How about one over here? Mm-hmm. And go into some red medium. I mean red light, excuse me. Cad red light and let's go over the top. Oh, pretty. And a little alizarin. Go under the bottom. You see your candle again, your dark would be down here. Mm 
Oh, I can't see. <laughs> okay, and just a touch of cad orange. And maybe even a touch of yellow. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> okay. What about, I think we'll just have more foliage coming down here because this is kind of balanced right now. I like that. So let's just go back to that foliage brush back into blue and green. This is not what I had anticipated at all. I sort of had something in mind for this, but then I have, I have drawn so many graphs, so many different things, trying to figure out what I really, really wanted to do. And I just, I, mean, I just have had a terrible time with it. There. So a little more yellow coming out. Some of these will cross over. And some red. Just, um, oh, I know. Let's put some turquoise in here. That is such a gorgeous color. Little medium. Yeah, let's put a little turquoise in here. When I say a little, that's what I mean, not a lot. This just sort of ties all the colors together. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Let's do one more little uh, cranberry. I guess you'd call it a cranberry. I'm not sure. <laughs> we'll call it a cranberry. That's okay. <laughs> uh, more medium. Let's do one right hmm, about right here. And another one right here. Okay, that one, those two will be overlapping. So wipe the brush, go into a little cad red medium over the top, and then some alizarin underneath. shadow, then some light red over the top, and some orange. Let's see, our, our color would be hitting right here now. And a little touch of yellow. Yeah, that's kind of cute. <laughs> okay, well I think we'll just call that finished because otherwise it's going to get so busy. Well, you just have to do this painting because 
it's a lot of fun and I think if you do it you'll really enjoy it and like I said it just would make the most wonderful Christmas gift so anyway well I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something again, as always. And if you like this video, I hope you subscribe. And uh, please share it with your friends if you know someone that might enjoy it. So thank you for joining me again today. I love you all. Merry Christmas. I know this is early, but what can I say? <laughs> I won't be here on Christmas. So um, anyway, love you all. Thank you for joining me and thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.